I don't want to get to Harvard after working my ass off in high school and see the nigga who cheated on my, te- like who cheated in that class right there with me. I'm going to feel like Harvard ain't shit. I never thought about it like that. <laughs> I'm going to feel like Harvard ain't shit. I was, all that work I put in was for nothing. This is really a community you college. You thought this was a... <laughs> this is really a community college. I thought I thought this was exclusive. Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Because I just want to build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I want to keep it real with you. I want to live better, eat better. I want to love better, sleep better. Yeah. Okay, why do married men <laughs> <laughs> be in the DMs just as much as single men? If not more. Right. Well, to recap what I said, I don't think men are naturally hyper, uh, polygam- uh, monogamous. monogamous. I don't think we're naturally monogamous. Um, but we want to be. We want to make y'all happy, um, but it's, it's that monkey on our back, right? Like um, Warren Farrell talks about it. He talks about like he's interviewed hundreds, thousands of men, and one consistent trait is that they want sexual variety as far as like quantity of women. That's our fantasy. That's our dream. Just to have options. Just to have options. And, and I think you could actually make a good argument for nature and nurture, because on the nature side, um, a low sperm count is 15 million, right? Um, whereas the average woman has 300,000 eggs at her peak of fertility, but then she loses it, you know, every yeah. menstrual cycle, you know? Um, so like the, our capacity to create people, <laughs> to spread seed is high mm-hmm. and it's consistent with every other animal species. But then I think on the nurture side too, and you've, pro- you've probably seen some semblance of this, but like when men get together, like in groups and shit, we automatically, males, we automatically try to rank ourselves. Um, Paul is the tallest one amongst us, but Steve can fight like a motherfucker. But um, uh, Larry can shoot. <laughs> don't, don't mess with Larry. Larry got that thing on him. Um, you know, uh, Jamal is charismatic as hell, man. That nigga can speak in front of 200,000 people. Mm-hmm. But Peter, Peter get bitches. And that's the most important thing out of all of those. It's not the most important thing, but what I'm saying is it's a compensating factor. So like, whereas naturally the alpha amongst them would be like the biggest dude or the dude who can fight whatever the case may be. But if you're the dude who gets, you get hoes, yeah. it move you up. <laughs> Any man who's watching this can testify. If you're the dude who knows woman ease, it moves you up. Wow. We got to protect, you know what I'm saying? Because when, what's the joke? Where the hoes at? Mm-hmm. Peter know. <laughs> Peter know. He might need a wingman. So, so when we look at throughout history and going back to your prize question, women have been the ultimate validation of our masculinity, mm-hmm. right? Our ability to rise the ranks so we have the pick of the litter. Even in the um, animal kingdom, like the alpha male is the one who mates first. Right. And then the betas get the rest of, you know, the pussy he already had or the pussy he didn't want. Mm-hmm. Right. So. Men's ability to get women has always been the ultimate validation. So, like, even when you're married, you hear, like, older men say, I just want to see if I still got it. <laughs> I just, I just want to see if I still got it. And then the, the other thing that I think complicates it, too, is, like, as a society, women's sexual marketplace value is based on youth and beauty. As a society, men's sexual marketplace value is based on you could say wisdom and wealth, right? And you, you could throw looks in there too. Right? Yeah. You know, it depends because women like salt and pepper. So there's something about a more esteemed looking gentleman, you know, somebody who look like they know something. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you got to open your mouth and also be consistent with that. Um, so a man at like 45 is like in his prime. He got some money. You know what I'm saying? He got some money saved up. He's been making some money. He's at 
a certain place in his career. Um, he's 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 getting that distinguished look. You know, his bone structure came together, his beard came together, whatever the case may be. Uh, he knows something. You know, he's got a certain disposition about himself. Women are going to find that attractive. He's got a ring on his finger. But he's still, from the perspective of the female delegation, he's still like the guy. So either it's a situation where he waited to get married so he can get all that out of his system. Or he, he got married. He got married at 30. He got married at 20-something. But he's still a man. So I'm not saying he should do it. I'm just saying that's why oh, that's, that's what, what makes it complicated. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think for me personally, I think part of what I hope happens with this series, I hope that younger uh, dudes get more of an understanding of women, like an understanding that I didn't have when I was super young. And I got it younger than most people um, so that they can get it out of their system. So when they're done, they're done. Because you get to a point, like, you're like, man, I don't even want the headache, man. I still do want multiple options and shit like that, but I don't want what comes with it. So I'm good with my wife. I'm good with my woman. We good. I mean, after a certain point, isn't it all the same anyway? So. It's not all the same. No? Not, okay. It is in a way, but it's not in a way as well. Okay. It is not. It's, it's not. It's not. But is it just the attention that you're getting from a new woman, or is it the actual act of sex with a new woman? Because a part of me... Feels like it's just the excitement that comes along with dealing with a new person, like them being maybe more interested in you than your wife that probably sees you every day, um, paying attention to you more. I ain't gonna lie, I think that's part of it, but I think what what like when men say, "I want to see if I still got it," it's the process of knowing that I can still crack the code. Cause for <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Cause listen, for a lot of us, we feel like it's um, it's a game in a way. Mm -hmm. And I just want to see if I'm still good at playing it. Like, I want to see if I, I can still observe the little micro uh, uh, expressions on her face, if I can still turn her on, if I can still. And it worked on this woman, and it could work on this woman, it could work on it. We're always refining our game, kind of like basketball players. So it's like... I want to know I could be the best player on this court and this court and this court and this court. Wow. Y'all childish. It is kind of childish. I ain't yeah, going to lie to you. It is kind childish. of childish, but that's that's really what it is. So why do you feel like men think that it's okay for them to cheat, but they would like pass out if they find out that their girlfriend or their wife cheats? Or they wouldn't be able to take her back, but the woman is always expected to take him back. No, I don't think a woman should always take the man back. I think if it's habitual, um, then that's a safety hazard. One time. How about that? I think you should consider it. I, I'm not going to tell nobody what they should do, but I think you should consider it. And the only reason I think you should consider it is because, and people feel free to disagree with me, the reasons men cheat on average are very different from the reasons women cheat, primarily because how men and women are built. Right. So like, for instance, from a from a man's point of view, if he decides to engage sex with, sexually with a woman, the main threat to his health is, well, I would say two things, disease and if she's crazy, those are the main threats to like his health as a human being for a woman. It's both those two things, including pregnancy. Because mm -hmm. pregnancy is risking your life. Let's, let's just keep it a buck. And I think you could also throw in there, like, even on a low level, like, he could throw your pH balance off. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot more considerations women have to make to engage sexually than men have to make. And on top of that, in our society, men have to earn your affection. That's just kind of what it is, right? We still assume the woman is valuable. So from a man's point of view, if my woman cheats on me, not only did she check off on all those boxes and say, okay, I'm going to fuck him. But it's also, he may have had to put in less work than I did. 
Oh. You ever bought a bag and then you see somebody else who bought the bag and they got it on discount and now you feel bad yeah. about the bag? Yeah. You're like, God, God, I throw this bitch away. I paid 10 times as much or two times as much as what you pay. That's what it is for men. So I think if 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 we lived in a society where it wasn't that men were expected to pay for dates, if it wasn't that men were expected to make the first move, maybe there would be a bit more equilibrium. But like, I don't want to get to Harvard after working my ass off in high school and see the nigga who cheated on my, te- like who cheated in that class right there with me. I'm going to feel like Harvard ain't shit. Wow. I never thought about it like that. <laughs> I'm going to feel like Harvard ain't shit. I was, all that work I put in was for nothing. This is really a community you college. You thought this was a- <laughs> This is really a community college. I thought, I thought this was exclusive. I thought this was good. So y'all are Harvard. Okay, so maybe she felt that way too, though. But she might stay. The guy's never going to stay. After it. Well, he might have a few. But that's it not going to happen. It never, well, see, the, thing, the, the reason why I said a woman is more likely to consider it is because, for the most part, he put in work for you. And then also, for the most part, he don't give a shit about that bitch. She was just a different ass. But with women... Again, because of all the boxes that you had to check to say, okay, I'm going to have sex with him. You, you like him a little bit. You like something about him. You th- and sometimes the part that eats most men up is that something about him is better. You don't feel like the woman feels that way? No, the woman feels that way. I, I right. agree. But that's not true. That's, that's not, not true. true. No. You don't know the type of insecurities that could be left with that woman after she's been cheated on. No, absolutely. And I agree with you. What I would tell that woman is like, that's not how men work. Men men are not, uh, what's the word, hypergamous. So like, it's it's dudes like, his girl's ass is fatter, titties are bigger, face is prettier, wap is wappier, but it was just different. That's how we're built as men. It's unfortunate. It's not right at all. Yeah. But it just is what it is. But women are programmed. Like I said, you have a finite number of eggs. Procreation is like the base reason for sexual intercourse Mm -hmm. and then pleasure and all that other stuff and intimacy. So like at the core, you are primed to go and seek out the best gorilla to procreate with and help you protect your offspring. So in some way, shape or form, whether it's because you think his dick is better He's more charismatic. He listens better. He, we're more intimate together. Whatever. Something about him is better to you. And that eats that man. It eats the woman up too. You're right. No, you're right. You're right. I she just wish women understood inside. though. Yeah, you're right. I get it. But. I just wish y'all understood. That's all. That's all. It's, listen, some of these answers are not pretty. They're not. <laughs> it's, not support. it's not pretty. It's not pretty. But I think One of the things I'm excited about is like, for better or worse, you're seeing a world where men are starting to speak up. Mm -hmm. And for better or worse, we we have to deal with the realities of men. Just like we've had to deal with the realities of women. It's a lot of things I learned about women. I'm like, yo, that's fucked up. Like what? (sighs) Give them one example. Let me see. Some women actually are sexually aroused by turmoil. By turmoil? Yeah. Oh, I don't know nothing about like that. Like makeup sex type shit. Like I want to Guys argue. are too though, right? Some guys, but they're, they're more women like that than men. And a lot of the men who are like that are men who were raised by single mothers. Mm. Um, the biggest one is what women say they want on paper versus what they actually go for. Two different things. Why do you say that? You'll hear women a lot of times say, actually, it came up in an interview. Um, Women say, I want a man who is emotionally vulnerable and I want him to cry in front of me. And things like that. No, you don't. Exactly. I don't. Exactly. Because in that same breath, later on, she was like, you know what? It would actually drive, it would drive me up if I saw my man cry in front of me, especially over some bullshit. We got to be super cool. I had to have known you for a while. That's what I'm Don't saying. Don't get in front of me being all super emotional. That's what I'm saying. 
Yeah. That's what that's I'm saying. actually not that's not attractive. Absolutely. But you do want them to be vulnerable. I don't know. It's like we want everything. We want both. Yeah. But see, but that's don't do that too to soon. Hack. Exactly. But we have to hack those nuances. And I think that's why with boys raised by single mothers, you see two outcomes. You see the dude who's future, like the super pimp who don't give a shit about women. Or you see the dude who gets married at like 20 years old and gets cheated on by his wife. And a lot of times with that is a lot of the game he got was from his mom. Which and his, one? The one who got cheated on, the 20 year old okay. who got married early. And the game he got from his mom was be sweet to women, buy flowers, be emotionally this and this, this and that. Because she was making him the perfect man for a 40 year old woman. <laughs> right. And he's in his 20s trying to date and the, the women his age saying, nigga, you boring, you yeah. soft, you weak, this, this and that. Yeah. And he's trying to do the right thing. But like he needed an OG to put him on game and be like, women say this, but this is actually what they mean. You feel what I'm saying? So it's a, it's, listen, everything in what it seems, not just with y'all, even in corporate America, same shit. Mm -hmm. They want you to stay for a long time, but you'll get a higher pay bump if you go to a different company. That's true. That's true. You have to go where you're appreciated. Come on now. Both parts. Period. The man and the woman.